Good morning, everyone. Myself, Murli Garede. In this video, we are going to discussing about how to take the backup and restore the Jenkins. Okay. We can restore the Jenkins, create the backup. There are multiple ways to create the backup. Example, if you use the AWS, we have a snapshot. We can create the snapshot. Okay. In case if you use, uh, you can also use EBS value. We can create the backup. Okay. But when inside the Jenkins, we have a plugin that is a backup plugin. Using that backup plugin also, we can take the backup. How we can take the backup? We can see. Okay. Not only this, this is the not only one way to take the backup. There are multiple ways to take the backup. Okay. I'm going to show you one way. Go to the manage Jenkins. First, we have to install the backup plugin. Go to the manage Jenkins. Go to the manage plugin. Here, go to the available. Now, here you have to install the backup plugin. Click this backup. Now, if you see here, the backup plugin is there. Click this one. Install without restart. Now, what will happen? The particular plugin is going to restart. If you see here, the particular backup plugin is going to restart. It may take a little bit time to install. Now, if you see here, it is going to install. Okay. Now, if you when you installing, it is showing like uh, Jenkins without restart, right? RNs download and restart after uh, download and restart restart the particular Jenkins. Okay. You can choose both ways, but uh, I selected a, I selected only Jenkins without restart when you install the plugin. Okay, if you observe here, the plugin was downloaded. Now go to the manage Jenkins. Okay, now when you download the plugin, you can see the one option here that is backup manager. When you download the particular backup plugin, you can able to view the backup manager plugin here. Click this one. Here we have a setup. First, you have to set up what type of play, uh, backup you want to take, either zip file or tar file. Okay, then you, you can take the backup. If you want to restore, also you can do it restore person. Okay, click this setup here. By default path is varlib Jenkins, but I want to take the backup. The backup path will be OPT. Okay, it means inside the OPT directory, I want to store that particular backup. Okay, then whether you want which which format you want to take the backup, either zip file or tar file or tar dot bz2. Okay, here file format default it will be uh, coming like this. Okay, year date month HMM means it is timing, it will be displayed. But I want to give a specific name. What I'm giving here Jenkins Jenkins backup. Okay, I'm giving Jenkins backup. Okay, with this particular name inside the OPT directory, it will be created the backup dot zip file because I have selected the format is zip file. And in case if you want to see the verbose mode also, you can see if you want to no shutdown, it no shutdown means the Jenkins won't, won't be shut down when you take the backup. Okay, if you want to take the backup specific, if you want to backup only job workspace, if you want to take build history, if you want to take the backup of the particular Maven artifacts, you can take it this one. Okay, save this. Now we have set up that. Format is zip file and uh, inside the OPT directory, the Jenkins iPhone backup dot zip file will be created and it will be take the backup. Okay, fine. Go to the manage ba backup manager. Here we have a backup person that right? click this one. When you click this one, first it will be going to schedule. Okay. Now first it will be going to schedule. Now if you see here, currently if there is any jobs is running, it will be verified. Currently we don't have any jobs. If you observe here, number of jobs is detected. It means zero. In case if any jobs will be there, once the particular jobs will be complete only, then this particular backup will be start. Currently, it is taking a lot of time. The reason is there is a, some issue with permissions. So we'll get some error. We'll see whatever we will get it. Okay. Now, if you observe here, when you take the backup inside the OPT Jenkins iPhone backup, we are getting when creating the problem, creating zip file, it is getting the permission. Delivery. So we have to give the permission for the particular OPT directly. What I'm doing here. I'm logging to the Jenkins server. Okay. Currently, where I'm in? In root directory. Now I'm going to use chmo iPhone R triple seven. I'm giving entire OPT. I'm giving the full permission. Okay. Here we got the error. OPT directory, we got the permission denied. What I'm doing here? Inside the OPT directory, I'm giving full permission, even subdirectories also having triple seven. Just enter. Now, if you see here, cd slash. LL command. Now, if you see here, we given the full permission. Okay, we given the full permission. Now, again, I'm going to run this. Uh, take the backup, backup manager, backup Harrison.
Now, if you see here, full backup file. Okay, it is going to take the backup file. Now you won't get any error. The reason is we have given the full permissions, right? That is the reason we won't get any error. Just wait for a few minutes. Based on your Jenkins job configuration, everything, it may take a little bit time, 10 minutes, hours also. Okay. Let's see how much time will take this uh, backup. Now if we observe here, it is taking the backup inside the OPT directory and also total files will be 2976. Okay. The backup is completed. Okay, now if you are going to check here inside the uh, OPT directory, I'm going to insert the OPT directory, give the LL command. You observe here, the backup file is taken. Okay, Jenkins happen backup is taken. What is that? If you want to take the backup, you can use the backup plugin. There are other ways to take the backup also. We have another uh, plugin that is thin backup. I'm going to show you here. Uh, open this Jenkins. Here, go to the manage Jenkins. Okay, manage plugin. Here we have a, go to the available thin backup. You see here, this is also one of the plugin. Using this plugin, also we can take the backup of your global and job level configuration file. Okay, based on your comfortable, you can take the backup. Either you can use the backup plugin or you can use the thin backup plugin. Anything is fine. And if you see here, now we've taken the backup, and also you can able to view inside this particular backup. Okay, now go to the manage and manage uh, backup manager here we have option right restore hearts and configuration click this one here we have a inside the opt directory we have taken the backup right select this backup and you can launch your restore currently i'm not going to do but if you want you can do this one also but i feel like it is not recommended to, to do it uh, backup like this we have already this particular job is running i mean server is running in Gen uh, aws right inside the aws we can take the snapshot Okay, every one hour, one day, one month, we can take the snapshot also. That is also one way too we can do it. Okay, I hope you understand that. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thanks for watching this video. We will see you next video.